Okay, folks, how you guys doing? Hi, BookTube. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because I, 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 I don't even know where to start. Um, I saw some people upset about this, and I completely don't blame them. And... <clears throat> It's funny because, like, there are some people who I have very much disagreed with to a ridiculous degree, um, who, on this, I completely 100% agree with them. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Barnes & Noble, um, today, I guess, put out, um, a bunch of diverse editions to kick off Black History Month. Um, and if you can't read what it says right here, it says, what if your favorite literary characters reflected the diversity of America? To kick off Black History Month, we are hosting a special one night only book launch event and blah, 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 whatever. <clears throat> okay. So, um, so basically what you're seeing on the screen right is um, your your old favorites like Moby Dick and Frankenstein and Wizard of Oz um, with new covers to show people of different ethnicities. Now, the thing about the diverse editions here that um, I feel is almost... Um, but there's so many things wrong with this. First off, the, the books that are in this, let me pull that up so I can tell you what books are getting the treatment. Alice in Wonderland, Romeo and Juliet, The Three Musketeers, Moby Dick, The Secret Garden, The Count of Monte Cristo, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Emma, The Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, Treasure Island, and Frankenstein. Um, are getting these um, awesome additions, okay? Um, let, let, let's let's show you a, another image here. Uh, that's kind of just like a bigger one of what we were looking at a second ago. But the other thing about this is, I mean, not only like are, I think all of those are written by white dudes, pretty sure, um, or white people, let's say. Um, I did read somewhere that I think someone has African ancestry on one of the articles I was reading, but I, I can't remember. So that's besides the point right now. Um, but, so people are going to go buy these books. Like, this is the, this is the thought here. That people are going to go buy these books, seeing someone that they look like on the cover. And then read these books that technically um, maybe we'll just say outdated. Um, they're not going to be politically correct. They're going to be um, a little on the not PC side. Um, and the people that new readers, let's say, are going to want to like see in these books if the only reason why they're buying the book is to relate with the character on the cover will not be in that book um so that is just ridiculous um and now if we move on further what you're gonna see is that it's not just for black history month and i feel like barnes and noble and penguin should be ashamed of themselves because they're trying to latch on to something to seem hip and cool and PC and it's just disgusting. And this is what happens when you have a bunch of out of touch white people trying to placate to, I don't know, to young woke people. Look at this. Okay. So it's black history month and they're going to kick off black history month. How are they going to do that? By having a bunch of 
non-white people on the covers. So if if you're a black girl, you could pick up the black girl version of Wizard of Oz. If you're an Asian girl, you could pick up the Asian girl version of the Wizard of Oz. And blah, 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 fill in the blank. We got a book for you. And it is very, to me, it's like, it's punching down, it's condescending, it's ridiculous. And like, I, 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 I'm, I'm just in shock. I, I, can't, I can't believe that this is something that a committee of people at at least two different corporations thought were a good idea. And with Romeo and Juliet, I guess there's a bunch of different covers with all sorts of different people from different ethnicities and races kissing on the cover just to show you that you too could find the person you want to kiss inside of Romeo and Juliet. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just in shock. Like this, this whole thing is just shocking to me. Um, so if anyone watching this video, if you are of like any ethnicity, or race, or minority group, or... Guys, sorry, uh, the recording cut out right there. Um, but what I was getting at, like, is this offensive to anybody? Like, if you are a minority group, do you find offense in this? If you are black, do you find um, them trying to piggyback a bunch of stuff onto Black History Month? Do you find that upsetting? Um... The whole reason why I wanted to do this video in the first place, um, this is how it got, this is what got cut off last time I was trying to do this, is that a lot of people are saying, like, there's so many black authors out there, there's so many great books with the black voice um, about the black experience, why aren't you putting these out? And Barnes & Noble might have a plan to do that next week or the week after. Like, I don't really know what their schedule is, but the reason why these books are being put out is because they're public domain. Um, they don't have to pay anybody for these books. Like, they just print them, put whatever covers on them they want, and they're classics, so they always sell. Um it's a write-off for them. It's something they don't even really have to think about. They probably, um, probably every year they go through different printings of these books anyway. And so the, the diverse editions are this year's printing. And they were going to do it anyway. So to make an event out of it, to make people talk about it like we are right now, they did this. And, um... I don't know. I it, it's it's I don't even I don't even know. It's it's a cash grab. And like I said before, this is why I don't like corporations jumping onto social issues because they always put their foot in it and they try to guilt people into feeling like they should be spending money with their company so they can um I don't know, so they can feel good about this thing they're supporting when all it's doing is just putting money into somebody's pocket. You know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. So anyway, let me know down below what you think. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. So until next time, I'll see you later.